Hello, I'm Suki, and today we're going to make Tussie Mussies that express a special meaning to someone. A lot of you probably have made Tussie Mussies before. They're just little flower bouquets, and through the ages, people have used Tussie Mussies for all sorts of things. Originally, they were made of herbs, and the ladies would walk around town or wherever holding the Tussie Mussies close to their nose. So a lot of times they were called nosegays. And that simply was to hide the stench of the smells they would, they would smell while walking through the streets. That's why so many people I think were heavily perfumed back there because you know, they didn't take baths like we did. But anyway, what a lovely way to carry a bouquet. Another way, the Victorians probably made the Tussie Mussie the most noteworthy because they would give Tussie Mussies as expressions of love or different feelings. And um, even the way you handed the Tussie Mussie would be a symbol. If you handed it to someone in your right hand, it would be a yes type of connotation. If you handed it to somebody in your left hand, it would be no. And if you held it upside down, that was total rejection. And if you got a wilted bouquet, well, you can imagine what that meant. Also, the way the bow was tied. For example, in this one, my bow is tied on the left. When the bow is tied on the left, it is thoughts from the giver. If it would be tied on the right, it is what you wish to the, the receiver. So you have to sort of think about that when you're creating your Tussie Mussie. I have some already started and we're gonna talk about them and tell you what the symbolism of those flowers are. This one, since Mother's Day is right around the corner, is a symbolism of love for mothers for Mother's Day. In this simple little Tussie Mussy, we have a pink carnation. And the pink carnation means I will never forget you. It's an unforgettable love like mothers have for, for their children. And also noteworthy to know if you didn't know this, in 1907, the pink carnation was made the official flower on Mother's Day. Also in this Tussie Mussie, I have purple stock. Not only does it smell heavenly, it has a special wish for a happy life. And it also, when you put it into Tussie Mussie, the giver is telling the receiver, you will always be beautiful to me. Then we have some baby's breath. Baby's breath is purity of heart. And then we have some daisies. Daisy is loyal love always. I have a small hydrangea tucked in here. And hydrangea means I understand. You know, moms always understand, or you might be understanding of your mother. And then I have some herbs in here. Lavender, which is devotion. Rosemary for remembrance. And we could always, we always remember our moms. And also you can tell mom, she might wanna stick a sprig of rosemary in her, ha her hair, because it'll help with recall. Then we have some yarrow, and yarrow stands for everlasting love. So when you see those yellow sprigs of yarrow growing in people's yards, they really do have special meaning. So the other little flower I have in here is a pansy. And the pansy with its smiling face is thoughtfulness. And, you know, back in uh, Victorian times, engaged couples would have their portraits painted with um, daisies, or not daisies, excuse me, pansies all around them because the pansies, they would make a pledge of eternal love. So, you know, never forget one another. So this is our Mother's Day. Tussie Mussy. And as you can see, I have put a cloth doily around it and I've tied it with a bow and I put it to the left simply because it's the thoughts of the giver. It's my thoughts to my mom. Okay, next we're going to have an example of a friendship one. We'll do a friendship, but I want to show you one that I've already started. I have just taken several pieces of Ostromeria. Ostromeria 
is the flower of friendship. It is a strong bond to one another. So friendship bouquets with Ostromeria are wonderful. Ostromeria also symbolizes a wish for wealth and prosperity. So when you give somebody a bouquet of nothing but Ostromeria, you're giving them a wonderful bouquet. Also tucked in here is lavender. Lavender again is devotion. So if this is a wonderful friend of yours, you feel devoted to them. And Rosemary, again, you know, I always will remember you. So I thought what I would do, um, also there's a, a yellow rose in here. A yellow rose stands for joyous friendship. So this one is a pretty special friendship bouquet to someone that I think is pretty special. And if I want to even put more special things to it, I can put some arborvite deep pine. And when I collar it or just stick some sprigs of pine around it, our friendship is forever. It's everlasting. It's unchanging. So I'm going to add that around. And then I'm going to take my twine and tie it up. And then if needed, you know, I can cut them off so that they'd all be the same length. And now I want to put a pretty little collar around it. So I can use a lace doily, a paper doily even works, or a pretty little handkerchief. And I'm going to take this little handkerchief and just wrap it around. Actually, works better when you do it in a triangle and try to wrap it around. You can actually tie it then. And I'm going to tie it to the right because it's my wishes to the receiver. It could go either way because, you know, I think she's pretty special, but I want her to know I want these wishes forever. And then the nice thing about when you give a little tussy mussy, so they know what it means, you could make up a little card to put along with it and tie it into your pussy mussy. And that's what I'm going to do. So, just take some ribbon. That way, when I give my Tussie Mussie to my friend, she'll know exactly what all the symbolism is and know how special she is to me. Put that one back in the jar. Oh, we're going to lay it on the table. But anyway, you can see what a nice little Tussie Mussy, what a nice little gift that would be, especially for a hostess gift. Now, the other one I have started is nothing but pansies or little monkey faces. So pansies mean, I'm thinking of you. So, you know, for a special friend, you know, we think about one another all the time. And then what I've used are some oak leaf hydrangea leaves um, because the oak is strength, meaning strength. So the strength of our friendship, you know, I'm thinking of you, we have a wonderful bond. 
So with this one, I just put some um, a lace doily around it. But if I want to make this even more significant, I could add, I'm going to add some ivy. Because the ivy is definitely the symbol of friendship. And I can actually add that right either take, I'm going to take the lace doily off and add these ivy leaves around it. And I actually, if I want to use some small ivy sprigs, I could tie that into there. So like I said, with this one, I just cut a hole in a paper doily and put it around there. And then I can take a ribbon and tie around it. And of course, since this is a friendship bouquet, it really doesn't matter which side I tie it because probably feelings, I'm thinking of them or I want them to always be thought of. So it doesn't really matter if I, which way I do it. So we'll just, whatever side it ends up on. So there's our little thinking of you or friendship. Okay. This also would work for somebody that maybe it's a little down or, or they're in the hospital or they're not feeling well because you're just letting how you're thinking about them and how special they are. And again, this is one that you can tag, put the tag on. And it's like, this tells you the pansies, I'm thinking of you and the oak will bring you strength. Okay, so each of you were told if you wanted to make um, a tussie mussy, we would do a friendship one and a get well one. So let's do the get well first. For this one, uh, I think I said for both of them, a hydrangea is optional, but if you want to use a hydrangea, you certainly can do that. Um, let me get the right flowers here. A hydrangea means I understand. And I am using these little mini green hydrangeas. And the other thing that a hydrangea does is it sort of gives you a base if you want to pull flowers through or just to cushion your flowers. So the first flower we're gonna put in here is a Gerber. A Gerber daisy means cheerfulness. So if someone, you want them to get well, you, you wanna have something to let them know that you wanna be cheerful. Um, then we're gonna put in some pansies and light I said pansies think, let you know I'm thinking of you. You can add a yellow tulip. A yellow tulip means sunshine in your smile. So you're bringing them sunshine with, with your smile. We're just going to add that in the back. Then we're going to stick in some herbs. We're going to use some mint. Mint is protection 
from illness. So if they're not feeling well, you want to give them some hope that they're going to get better. And the mint is to protect them. And we can also add some basil. This is Thai basil. Basil is good wishes for good health. We're gonna add some lavender simply because it's a friend we think a lot about or someone we think a lot about. So we're, we're at, at giving them, you know, you're devoted to them. We're gonna help you through this. We're also gonna give you thyme, sprigs of thyme. Because thyme means strength. The Roman warriors used to bathe in water time water before battle because it would give them lots of strength to go into battle or so they believed. The other thing we're gonna stick in here is dill. Did you know dill is protection from evil? So usually evil things happen when you're sick. So we're gonna protect you from all those evil things. And we're going to put in willow. This is a piece of curly willow. You know, willow is flexible, bending. It also is healing. So, you know, even though the willow can bend and flex, it's, it heals right back. So we're going to put that in. So there's a wish for healing. Then the other thing we're going to stick in here is some lilac. Lilac is a flower of spring renewal and also of renewal and new life. So we're hoping for you to get well, to have continued new health. And another little thing we're gonna stick in here is to let them know we're thinking of them. So if we're thinking of them, we can use a little sprig. A blue salvia. Blue salvia knows, even though you're not feeling well, I'm thinking of you and wishing you the best. Then in order to help them get well and wish them strength, we can add some allium. You know, allium has always been special to people. You know, allium was um, very valuable to the Romans. In fact, you could pay for goods. It was more valuable than jewels. So they would give allium bulb, bulbs to pay for things or give them as gifts. And then the early settlers, when they came to America, they would make garlands of allium to hang above their doorways because it was thought to protect them from illness. So I guess that's why a lot of people like to eat garlic. So anyway, there is our get well bouquet. So now what we're gonna do is tie it all together. And if I wanna anchor it more, I can add some more. Oh, I know what I forgot to put in. I can add some more. Um, Lavender, but I also want to add sage. Sage is the herb of immortality. And I know the samurai warriors, as well as the Roman warriors, bathe in sage water because they want it to have immortality. So that makes a nice little collar around our Tussie Mussie. And wow, does this smell good with all those herbs.
cut off this now. It's all the same length. And now, since I had a lot of purple in this, I'm going to use a purple handkerchief. And I'm going to tie it to the left because the thoughts of the giver, my thoughts to my friend who is sick. And there's our get well Tussie Mussy. So not only is it pretty, but man, is it smell, it would smell good. Open up the senses and your sinuses. Wonderful smell. Okay. And we'll do the next one. I did forget to tell you a little bit about the tool up. Well, I'll go back to it. I wanted to tell you that tulips back in the Middle Ages were very valuable. Only the very wealthy could afford to have tulips. So we common folks would never had tulips and they gave them as gifts. So the yellow tulip is, you know, you, you have sunshine in the smile. So you have to think about the color of your tulips because each tulip has a different meaning. Um, if you give an orange tulip, that would be like you're fascinated with a person. If you give white tulips, you're asking for, for forgiveness. And a lot of the Roman people, as well as the Victorians, wore a tulip in their uh, lapel because they felt it gave them protection from bad luck. So, um, and people did have bases of tulips in their kitchen to attract good and prosperity to their home. So not only is it a lovely flower springtime, but it has a wonderful symbolism. The next one we're gonna do is friendship. We can start with a hydrangea again, or we don't have to, but I'm going to put it in here because with friendship, you know, you other always understand one another. And again, we have the Ostromeria, you know, that the flower of friendship, a powerful bond. So I'm basically going to use my um, hydrangea more as a cushion. Then I am going to put in Hellebora simply because, or Latin Rose, simply because I have it blooming in my yard. It's just been beautiful this year. But a hellebora means we have a bountiful full year ahead. And we want prosperity for our friendship and everything good. Then we can add a pink rose because a pink rose means happiness. Or you could also do like we did in the other one, a yellow rose because that Yellow rose is joy of happiness, but um, or joy of friendship, but the pink rose just means happiness. Another uh, blue salvia. I'll tuck that in because I'm thinking of you. And then I'm going to add some. Well, I don't know what I did with it. I was going to add some margarine, but. Don't see it. Anyway, the margarine means joy and happiness. So I did have it in my friendship bouquet. So um, I have it actually in here with the pansies. So I'm going to, instead of that, we'll just use rosemary, little rosemary right. remembrance. I remember you. Like I said, tuck a sprig in your hair so you have recall. 
I needed that so I would have remembered the margarine. And some of my rosemary, I love it when it drapes down and you can see this particular piece of rosemary, it's blooming with those blue blooms. You know, rosemary is supposed to be the herb of the Virgin Mary. And supposedly the blue blooms came from when she um, walked through um, the rosemary, or I'm sorry, it's the lavender is, is the, um, I'm sorry, lavender is the um, herb of the rosemary, just remembrance. So that's why the lavender is the devotion, she's devoted. So we're gonna put that in there. Again, we can put some ivy in there because that is friendship. And another flower that I had not put in your list, that means friendship, is the geranium. So I'm gonna put, make this one really colorful, put some red as well as a white geranium in here. Here. Now, if I wanted to color this, I could use ivy all the way around it, or I could use the pine. And since I have some pine, I think I will go with it. Remember, that means unchanging friendship. And this is like the arborvitae pine. And because I have them, I'm going to add these little daisies. Fever few is what it is. They are members of like the daisy family. Um, but this is a special friendship bouquet, somebody I'm very fond of. So, you know, daisies are sort of like, I love you. You're special. You're loyal. Also the official flower of the Girl Scouts. So that's why we start, you know, daisies, daisy scouts in the beginning. So we'll cut those stems out. And I wanna make sure the blue salvia is there. So that'll be my front and this little hanky. Yellow will help bring out the yellow in the daisies. And again, because it's friendship, you could tie it either way. And you have your special little friendship, Tussie Mussy. So wouldn't that be lovely to give to someone, you know, whether, even if they're in the hospital, this would work as well if it's a good friend because it's a friendship okay. And you could always tuck something in um, such as an iris. Because the blue iris means hope. So 
if they're not feeling well, maybe they're just a little down, they're having some health issues, you're my friend and I hope for you, for everything's going to turn out just fine. So that adds a little special message in there to your Tussie Mussy. So I hope you've enjoyed making some Tussie Mussies and finding out just what the flowers all mean. And I bet you, you all summer while your flower beds are just blooming and gorgeous, that you can make up some special bouquets as little Tussie Mussies or nosegays to give special people in your life. So thanks for joining me.